if you're someone who wants to build a software company and sell it for six, seven figures, eight figures someday, then you need to watch this video. Building a SaaS on Go High Level has become increasingly popular over the past year, but as someone that's been a part of five software companies and that's sold two of them, I'm here to tell you that building on Go High Level is not a very good idea if your goal is to build a software company. Building a software on top of Go High Level, you're not really building a software company. You're more of a glorified agency owner. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what I mean and why you should probably rethink about building on go high level so what is go high level so go high level started off as mainly being popular for being a crm or for customer relationship management and over time they kind of turned into this all-in-one tool for business owners where you know you can still have your standard pipeline to keep track of all your leads you can do all your automations through there your email automations your text automations and then they added in you know a funnel builder so you can build websites you can build funnels landing pages whatever you can then do like your automated google reviews through there you know you kind of like work on your seo so it kind of just became this like all-in-one tool for business owners to operate out of and they basically allowed you to do all these different automations where you know you can automate kind of customer support you know you can there's a lot of like zapier integrations with it where you know customer support can come in and you can you know connect it even to open ai and you can use zapier tie it all together and you can basically automate little things like that and it was just all in one tool right and all of a sudden there became this trend of starting a SaaS, but then people were talking about go high level and so let me explain what people are actually doing when they say they're starting a go high level SaaS. So what they're actually doing is they're white labeling go high level. So they're not building any type of software. They're not making anything themselves. They're using go high level. They're putting their own branding on it and then they're selling it to local businesses as if it's their own software that they, you know, they made themselves, right? And so a very popular use case that people push on, you know, on social media for go high level is doing things like selling pre-made websites because go high level has a bunch of templates for pre-made websites for local businesses like restaurants. So a lot of people tell you to use go high level and sell pre-made websites to local businesses or automated, you know, like Google reviews or, you know, little things like that of like helping them with their SEO by giving them, you know, some sort of pre-made website as well. So these are the types of things that people are pushing for you to do utilizing go high level on social media. And so this is essentially running an agency. It's basically the same as if you just reach out to someone and you're selling them a website. It's just instead of you actually building the website yourself, like instead of you going onto Webflow and building it yourself, you're just clicking a button inside of go high level and the website's already made and then you just change the words on the website and then you hand it off to the customer so that is what people are telling you to do and basically go high level has different plans and so you're charging these business owners normally like 500 bucks a month so you might charge them a little bit more to like set up the website and then you might charge them like a hosting fee of like 297 dollars a month and so this is what people in social media are calling go high level SaaS. and so let me tell you why i don't agree with doing this so you're basically running an agency like again it's like you're selling a website to a restaurant. Like that is basically an agency service, but instead you're charging a lot less money than if you were actually just like a really good website designer. I would rather sell like a custom, really well-made website for $5,000 to a business owner than to sell it for like 500 bucks and just click a button inside of go high level and call that running the SaaS. You're basically running an agency, but charging less money than if you were actually just skilled expert at building websites. And the other reason why I have a problem with people calling this, you know, they're, have, they're a software company owner one, you didn't build any sort of software. You're white labeling go high level. And so for this reason too, you're not gonna get the main benefit of software, which is enterprise value. So this go high level business you're building, you'll be lucky to be able to sell it for like a regular agency multiple of like maybe selling it for one to two X the annual profit. You're not gonna get the traditional software multiple of being able to sell it for five to 10 X annual profit because you didn't actually build anything. You know, you're not actually providing a real solution that like you built yourself. You're again, using go high level that already exists, putting your own brand on it and you're clicking a button and then handing over a website to a local business or doing the Google reviews or whatever service inside of Go High Level you're doing, it's not anything that you actually built yourself. So in my opinion, it's basically you being a glorified agency owner, but you are doing it in a lazier manner of using Go High Level to fulfill the services, but you're also making less money doing it that way because if, if you were an actual agency owner, you were just charging thousands of dollars a month like most do, you'd actually probably make a lot more money than if you just click the button inside of Go High Level and charge $500. So it's like you're running an agency, but you're charging way less money than agency owners would normally charge. And so my other problem with it is 
all the people that are telling you to do go high level SaaS, they don't make their money running their go high level SaaS of doing, you know, selling the website to the restaurant or doing the reviews or whatever service it may be. They make all their money affiliating for go high level. So every time that you sign up for go high level using their link, they're collecting a commission on that $297 or $497 a month. And so they're making all their money by telling you to do go high level. They're not actually making their money from the go high level business themselves. Most of them probably didn't even run a go high level business for very long, or maybe they don't even do it anymore at all. And so if you literally just wanna make a little bit of cash flow and you're like, oh, I don't care about the enterprise value or little things like that. Like, I'm not saying it's a bad business model. Like if you're a beginner, it's very easy to reach out to a restaurant and be like, hey, I'll make you a website and then click a button and hand it over to them. Like it is a pretty easy business model to do, but it is not something that is going to get you to real levels of wealth. You're gonna maybe make a little bit of money with it, but you're not gonna scale it very far in my opinion. And you're definitely not gonna build enterprise value. And that's why you'll never see anyone, like these people that you look up to that have actual software companies, the Iman Godzies of the world, you know, the Alex Beckers of the world, the Sam Ovens, you know, they're not building anything on go high level. They're actually paying developers and they're building legitimate software companies that build enterprise value and that are building real solutions that are revolutionizing markets. They're not just clicking a button to sell a pre-made website to a local restaurant like it's two different levels of entrepreneurs you know go high level is very good if you're a beginner you just need to make a little bit of money you're like a phase one entrepreneur but if you want to graduate and if you want to actually go into the big leagues and you want to have to be forced to level up your skill set and be a real entrepreneur and build a real solution then you're not going to build on go high level you're going to build on bubble or you're going to build on native code or one of these platforms where you're building a real new solution that solves a legitimate problem that you own the intellectual property to it. And so like I mentioned, the only people that are making a lot, a lot of money with Go High Level are just the ones affiliating for it. And so I actually practice what I preach. I am telling you guys to do software and I actually make my money through software. I have finetuner.com. I have a no code development agency where, you know, we are getting equity in some of the projects that we are building. We run it as a venture studio. So I am actually all in on the software space, whether it is no code or if it is built on native code, you know, fine tuner has native code built into it. Most of the other companies are completely built on no code, but I am actually going all in on exactly what I'm talking about of building real software solutions that provide real value. So if you want to build real wealth, you have to follow what the greats are doing that are building real wealth and not just listen Listen to the teenagers on TikTok that have an affiliate link. So if you've made it to the end of this video, I know that you are someone that wants to build real wealth. You want to build that real solution. You don't want to be a lazy entrepreneur that just clicks a button and sells, sells it to a restaurant for a little bit of money. You want to build a real solution. And so if you want free game every single day on what's working right now in my own businesses, I send a free email almost every single day to my newsletter. You can subscribe, the link's in the description. And if you have a software idea that you want to be built on Bubble or you want it to be built on you know, Glide, one of these platforms, you wanna build a real solution, I have a no-code venture studio where we build companies like that. So I'll put the link below to apply for that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I appreciate you watching.